I'm Anthony Davenport. I own a company that helps people build, fix, and protect their credit. Usually I'm brought in after bad things have already happened. But today I want to teach kids about how you can avoid these things from happening to you. And it starts now. These days, kids do everything through social media and online. The problem is that information stays there forever and it can be used to steal your identity as well as cyber bully you. Kids are their own self paparazzi, taking selfies everywhere, saying who they're with, where they're going, how they feel about it. But the problem is people are using that information to hurt you. We're gonna talk about ways that you can do that responsibly and safely today. With the invention of social media and the technology that we've embraced as a society, cyberbullying has become so much more prevalent. Um, so yeah, obviously if the traditional bullying, if um, something's going on, if it's a, it's a kid in your school, um, you tell your parents, your parents you know, march you over to the kid's house and you sit down and talk about it. It's difficult to respond. They can be almost anything that's transmitted electronically. Here's a good rule of thumb. Think about something before you post it. If you don't want everyone in the whole wide world to know something, if you don't want your teachers to know, if you don't want your parents to know, if you don't want your principal to know, then don't put it out there. Because once you do, there's no taking it back. And I was talking to a buddy of mine, his son was uh, getting a football scholarship uh, at, a, at a university, and when they sat down in the admissions process, they basically said, do me a favor, let's log online and let's look at your Facebook. I think one of the dangers for kids that bully is that they don't feel like there are actual effects. It's a, it's a domino effect. Uh, because you're emotionally developing at some of these uh, young ages, uh, you can get depressed and maybe lead to suicide. Those uh, emotional and mental um, uh, uh, health issues are serious. To kids who feel that they might be being cyberbullied or that their information has been stolen, make sure to tell an adult. We don't always understand these things because cyberbullying didn't exist when we were kids. We didn't have Facebook or Twitter or any of those other things. But if you tell us, then we can take steps to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. A couple of solutions. If you want to get a resolution, save that information so that there's proof that bullying is happening. Find someone you can trust. You know, go talk to them and tell them what's going on and then in turn they can get a, hopefully uh, find a solution to the problem. It's a perceptual thing, I think, for a kid who's being bullied, why he doesn't report it. And it comes off to them more as a negative, and I'm ratting out uh, uh, someone in our school, and it just it gives a negative connotation in addition to what's the actual solution that's going to come from that. So when you start to look at our youth, and as much as they're online, they're online all the time, they're more likely to have their, their identity stolen at a young age. Kids are actually more likely than parents to get their identities hacked these days because you don't ever check your credit. You're not looking at it. So one thing that you can do is to make sure that your parents put a block on your credit report so that no one can access it and therefore it's ready when you want to use it. So you should never share personal information. Uh, never be uh, so flippant to think that something you put and delete is going to disappear as soon as you delete it. Because what happens is that an identity theft can occur. And say you're 12 years old, it could be exploited for years before you find out. In order to demonstrate just how easy it is to exploit the information that someone puts out there, we got fifth graders from St. Elizabeth's to hack a celebrity just using the information that they had put online in social media and in their music. You're taking pictures of yourself and your friends and you're posting it online and in social media of everything that you're doing. Things that will tell someone how they can bully you or how they can steal your identity because they could guess all these different things. Can I pick any of these? Yep, pick three of them. Right, so that's a little Wayne talking about him, but it doesn't say that Jay-Z was there with him. We got a winner. We got a winner. So we just conducted an experiment with roughly 30 fifth graders, age 10. And their goal was to find as much information as they could to essentially hack a celebrity. Just over 21 minutes it took for them to essentially have enough information to be able to apply for credit in a celebrity's name. As a recap, remember that 
If someone is bullying you, or if you feel that someone's got a hold of your information, tell an adult, ask them to block access to your credit. You don't want to ruin your future before it starts. Also, remember to think about what you put online. If you're going to put something out there, are you sure you want the whole world to know it? Because once it's out there, it's out there forever. Be smart about what you do online.